This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Lavello. Lavello. Uh, hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to Horror Month. It's Horror Month. And we're playing the game known as Phantasmagoria. Uh oh. Did you see that? It's a shady figure behind that tree. Did you see that, guys? What could it be? Some dude is voyeuring from behind this tree. No, Adrian, don't do it. Adrian. You're gonna get tree murdered. You're gonna get tree murdered. No. Hello? <laughs> Is there somebody there? Hmm. Yeah. Watch out! No! Don't run! Don't run! I, I, I won't hurt you. Who are you? Well, why do you run up and grab someone to say you're not gonna I, hurt I'm them? A We're doing this then, huh? He's what you'd call an Igor type. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Guess we're following him to the bond. I don't. Get it all out. You don't. No, you, you don't no. know about this Igor you know fellow. What? You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. It's fine. I'm but not sure. Are. You I'm not sure what. Not I'm not sure yet. what he's going for. But I think I know, and I... Okay. Hurry! Do they live in the chimney? Oh, come on, you gotta help Ma! Help! Help me! Oh, God. Ma! Oh, God. I, I, I went and got that lady. <laughs> well, get the top her half of her is just stuck I'm like done. gum to the ceiling. Help! <laughs> Somebody help me! Help me! Is she a gnome? She's a gnome. Oh, it's yeah. Gnome Anne from it's uh, No Man <laughs> from Quest for Glory. It's a small universe. No man. She got uh, laundry machine stepbrother stuck. Let's just leave her. Take your boots. Cyrus, what happened? She fell. Why, why, why through the floor? Help! I didn't think it was a good idea. I didn't want to do it. Do what? Uh, Liv, do I deal with that thing? The pulley? Yeah. Why would you want to do that? Help! It's her! <laughs> oh, she wanted to Is go his name there. Pirate? To, uh, to, to, to get the ladder. But I, I didn't think, I didn't think she should. That, uh, that sounds like a... You, you gotta help Like her. a setup for a pickup line. No, no. Help! You <laughs> Is your name you Pirate? Uh, that's all I get. Hurry! What are you gonna do? I guess I'm gonna climb up and... Oh god, she's she's a gnome. Oh, hurry! Hurry, I'm stuck! Get me out! Is your name Pirate? Because it looks like you got a wooden leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good one. Take the pitchfork and... Stuff her down. Okay, I'm gonna pull hard oh, she now. is truly a gnome. A true gnome. <laughs> She's a true gnome. Now push. I'm gonna pull. Gnome, comma, lawn. Gnome, comma, true. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Nobody could be this stuck. <laughs> no, the, the gnome hat has really got to go. I'm not into this at all. I, uh, I think we should call the police. No. That would probably be the correct course of action. Not a weapon. Like, I think these people are intruders. A true no. They are. They're, yeah. They're definitely... You're... 
you're on U.S. Yeah, soil. Yeah, wrap on tight. I'm gonna be pulling really hard. Also, like we don't have to worry about the police shooting them because they're white. Oh, hold on. No, it's, it's yeah, but but we are allowed to kill them for trespassing on our property. But they are poor. Well, there's no. Okay. The police might still shoot. Oh them. yeah, that's true. We don't want the police to shoot them, so I guess we have to. You know, we gotta solve this ourselves. Um, can you go inside and get some butter? Lubricate that <laughs> hole up a little? Lube it up. Lubricate that hole with some butter. Alright, now use the use that to get the pulley. Great idea. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Careful there, Adrian. Careful there. Easy. Hurry! Oh. I think you needed to choke up on the, uh, on the head of the pitchfork quite so much and risk your life hanging out over the edge there but man i am super impressed with the way she like does things like exactly where they should be <laughs> oh yeah the, the oh, blocking yeah. the stage blocking is great place it around her hat that's the top of her head. It's not actually a hat. Just hook her, hook her neck. <laughs> <laughs> Just pierce the hook through that fleshy red protuberance on the top of her head. Whatever you want. It's solid all the way through, like mushroom. It's basically just a strawberry that feels pain. <laughs> oh, don't put it in her butt. Well, it. it provides a perfect anchoring spot, doesn't it? That's true, but if she can if we can get at her okay, butt, now, we can probably slowly. get her. Remember out. your mother's attached to it. Pull pirate. Oh, Cyrus, sorry. I thought it was pirate. Okay, it was pirate. Easy. Easy, Cyrus. Okay, stop, stop. How long have they been living in the barn? She's been trapped in that piece of floor for weeks. I bet she smells something awful. That pulled my ass clean off. No, don't! Don't push her! Cyrus, you big old. This is all your fault. I think it might be Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's what I said. I said it was Cyrus. I thought it was Pirate. I got it now. I understand. I I, no I see my mistake. Name's Harriet. I'm a no. Harriet Hockaday blows my son Cyrus. I swear that boy can't do anything right. I'm Harriest, and this is pirate. He loses his head but when she and on pirate. Tight. <laughs> Cyrus, you just wait till I get my hands on you. What are you gonna do? Adrian's like, what are you gonna do though? She just kills him. <laughs> just straight up murders him. She just stabs him like eight times and he dies. You just fall through the hole. Ooh. Nice. Little bit of shitty sweater in there, eh? Sure looks like it. Now we can clone her. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh no. Stepbrother, I was getting some fabric and got stuck. <laughs> oh god. She'd, she'd just go right through there. Adrian. Yeah, probably. Yeah, use the hammer on that shit. Use the claw from the claw hammer. That hammer is the most useful tool. I can't wait. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've actually managed to use it, but... Didn't we use it for the fireplace? No. Didn't... The hammer's been a comforting presence in our inventory, useful yeah. or no. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. The hammer has the hammer has a home in my inventory, but... In our black jeans. Yeah. Lady, um, me and Cyrus want to apologize. That is for being a problem. His name is Cyrus. Cyrus. Wouldn't we, Cyrus? Huh? Oh, yeah. You don't have to apologize, Harriet. Accidents happen. 
but even so, you and your son are gonna have to leave. This is private property. Uh, I've been thinking about that, uh, about your property and all, and uh, there's just no way around it. You need us. <sighs> need you? Yeah. How are you and your husband gonna take care of this whole place by your lonesomes, huh? Well, I hate to admit it, you have a point there. Now, take a look at my son here. He's as strong as an ox. Can do any kind of outside work. Ox are really Maybe strong. I can help around the house. I'm I great housekeeper. Yeah, I can see that. Well, what do you say, huh? Yeah. We'll work for nothing. Just room and board. He's a dipshit, but he'll kill a guy for you. Pitch us out in the cold. We got no place else to go. He's a dipshit. Oh, okay. You win. You can start tomorrow. Now I was lying. He's not quite as strong as an ox. Ox are really strong. We got us a job, Cyrus. You hear? What's your name, lady? Adrian. Adrian Delaney. My husband is um Don Gordon. Pleased to meet you, Adrian. <laughs> I didn't take his last name for reasons that will become apparent later. Yeah, when you see him, you'll know why. I read palms. Can I? No, I don't, I don't think so. Aw, oh, come on. Let me see. I don't... You don't have any lines! <laughs> I learned to read palms from a machine line? in the vestibule. Yeah. Well, your line, your hand is as smooth as the planes. But... But there's this strange other there is like a prosthetic, the doesn't it? There's a hundred percent poop on her sleeve. Wonder what that means. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see it ah, right there. Forget it. Don't mean nothing. <laughs> Come on, boy, let's go get fix supper. Where the hell were they when we were in here earlier? In the boxes. They went into minion space. <laughs> <laughs> They were in the car. Guys, please don't eat my please don't eat my cat. Thanks. <laughs> Adrian, I'm still waiting. <laughs> I could have told you about those two. What's for dinner tonight, Cyrus? Your cat. Your cat. <laughs> you mean Sapa? <laughs> yeah, I don't mean supper. Samba, I mean dinner. Well, looks like Ma's making rabbits too, see? Oh. I'm a good hunter. I can kill him with my bare hands. Oh. That's good. You called it, Luke. Show me. <laughs> Call the police. Now. Demonstrate on your mother. <laughs> Call the police right There's now. A... Have them arrested and taken away. Yeah, they're skinning rabbits in your barn. So, this is really your home, huh? Yep. Got it fixed up. Just like I like it. It looks real homey, all right. That fireplace is huge. We got our fucked up broken cart. We got our rabbit skin and knives. We've each got our one pair of clothing. <laughs> that, that's no fireplace. That's our bed. Oh, I don't know. This My boy Cyrus is real useful. I raised him to be real obedient, but with no sense of right and wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you could call the police, but you'd lose at least two of them. <laughs> Make sure they bring at least three. By Cyrus is what you call a, a two-clip problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, nobody ever tested that, of course, but, you know, we know it to be true. Um... Hey everybody! I hope you had a hope you had a great week. I hope those uh, hope you didn't get burnt out on us after four episodes. You know, you know. I know I did. It was a little bit like flying close to the sun. Yeah, I know I got burnt out on us. I'll understand if it takes a while for these views to come in. You know. I think like, we've pushed our remaining viewers about as far as they can go, though. 
Like, they, yeah. they would have bailed already if they were gonna. <laughs> I don't know. Four episodes, man. Especially four really long episodes. You know? That, that, that was madness. It's like two hours worth of content. Yeah. More. Then again, like, I watch, like, Action Button and shit like that. So. Well, yeah, that's true. But we are, we are not Tim Rogers, Evil for better or for worse. You. Look for friends. Are they going to be your friends? Because that's sad. We can do better. <laughs> we can do better. Can we, though? Pickings are slim. Well, we could have got, you know, uh, Walmart, DeForest Kelly in town. He looks reliable. That's true. Well, he's among the slim pickings, I would, uh, I would argue. Yeah. A, a restaurant could really earn my loyalty if they served legitimately disturbing fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like evil is watching seek friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be perfect. Um, you don't want to know what was in the stew. So, because we had four episodes, we got quite a we got quite a few comments. You know. Yeah. Yeah, a, a decent smattering thereof. Uh, I guess. Um, uh, do we have any? Do we have any questions for Gory? I don't know if we do. There were no questions for Gory. There were responses to the ghost question again. Yeah, yeah. which is good. Don. Oh fucking fuck! He's not even answering. Uh -huh. Smoke him out. <laughs> Don? Do you think if she does it again, she'll say it in exactly the same tone? Let's find out. Don? Don? <laughs> How many times do you think we could do that? Let's nail the door shut. <laughs> oh, we can't. <laughs> get the nail, get the hammer. You know, here's the thing. This is where role playing really comes in handy, right? Because Adrian, on some level, must love Don. But we... well, I mean, they they seemed to be a very happy and loving couple in the opening cutscene. Yeah. Until Don inhaled the ghost fart. Yeah. But 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 we as players, we're not big fans of Don. You know. No. So we he wanted... has not done very much to endear himself to us. No, no. Oh. Go see the ghost baby. Oh, Can't right, sure. our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's been weeks. I forgot about her again for 36 hours. <laughs> Can we oh, swallow is... the ghost baby? Is that what the orb is? The, the MIDI music and the singing voice are kind of playing at odds to one another. I think yeah. if we're gonna consume a ghost, we should go straight for the ghost magician. Well, yeah, because we know the baby's not a ghost magician because the ghost magician was never a child. Yeah, it's true. This is established it's probably full canon. For fully formed from the mind of Zeus. <laughs> yeah, as is uh, as is the way. That's where magicians come from. Yeah. We won't gain any cool powers if we consume a baby ghost. I have all the powers I, of I a baby ghost. I can't imagine baby ghost powers would be very interesting, would they? <clears throat> Crying. Unusual smells. The powers Still of Still doing baby this. Ghost. God, what is this? I don't know, but consume it. Just deconstructing the baby ectoplasm one millimeter or milliliter at a time. If she keeps doing that, eventually she'll get it all. That's right. Because she's bringing residue out. 
So, can we do that thousands of times? Potentially. For the rest of October? I saw this trick on every other uh, adventure game. There we go. And some episodes in MacGyver. (laughs) Yep. She just sets it on fire. (laughs) No, do that with (laughs) Dawn. Do that with Dawn. It's Smoke weird. Out. It's weird to set a person on fire by placing kindling at their feet and patiently lighting it. <laughs> Especially if they're not tied up. <laughs> Yay! It worked. Oh. She sounds so enthusiastic. She sounds exasperated. Yay! Like it she worked. Also, just discarded the rusty bent nail onto the floor in her hallway. <laughs> Well, she has she has servants now. <laughs> That's true. Also, I know where it is. Don can step on it if he likes. It's gone right to her head. She's just gonna set up a a layer of improvised caltrops, <laughs> just to spice up the relationship. I read it in Cosmo. <laughs> spice up your relationship through caltrops. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband won't know what to expect in my bedroom if you place caltrops on the floor at the foot of the bed. She was uh, trying to read up on sex dungeons, but she instead read about like D and D dungeons. Yes. <laughs> so there's a there's a flame jet trap and a poisoned arrow trap. Ruin your husband's feet in three easy steps. Okay, call it. What's in here? <gasps> I already know the answer. So. Stairs! I mean, aside from stairs. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Conspicuous wooden wall. Yeah. Did they just decide not to add any additional set dressing to this uh, to this room? This was like a gray box. Uh, all right, guys, we're ready to ship. Uh, everything done? Oh, shit. What's the matter? I didn't do the top of the stairs. You have an hour before we ship. <laughs> How did you even get that far? We uh, we did get a lot of our viewers' theories about what ghosts are or might be. Should we uh, do some should... um, theories for glory? Glory? Yeah. yeah. So, fun for Algernon uh, says, if ghosts for real, I'll go Shakespearean. It's a soul that is not at rest, perhaps in purgatory, a la Hamlet's dad. Perhaps their haunts are an appeal to others to right a wrong, like solving an unsolved murder or mystery, finding their body, that kind of thing. I'm down. That yep, seems reasonable. Fair, fair. I, I personally don't think people have souls. Uh, but, uh, if people did have souls, then yeah, that, that would make total sense. Unfinished business, I think, is is in popular theory how one gets ghosts. That's how you make them. If you, for whatever reason, need to produce them. What what else? What what other theories for ghosts do we have? Uh, Idris uh, takes a more Terry Pratchett approach. Um, Ghosts exist, but only on the level of people believing them. That's a good one. That's a good one. I, I'm actually that, uh, more... That... Go ahead. Uh, I, I'm actually more on board with that one, because I actually think that most supernatural encounters do occur inside a person's mind, rather than in the physical world. So... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was... Um... I believe in one of our four previous episodes, we also um, determined that uh, ghosts can only hurt you if you believe in them. So uh, that kind of dovetails nicely. I mean, like, I, I don't mean to sound too dismissive. I like I you guys know I don't believe in ghosts at all. But like, even if something supernatural were manifesting, it's as likely to manifest in your mind as it is in the world around you. So that's true. That's true. I think I think I, I dresses can cause hallucinations. I really like the idea of ghosts being. Um, oh wait, I, does Joseph Davies have has one too? Right. I don't want. I want to go last. 
Yeah, um, Joseph Davies says, I don't know what ghosts are. I've experienced strange happenings, but cannot conclusively call them ghosts. It would be very interesting if ghosts are real. No one seems to be able to find solid evidence of them. Yeah, you know. So here's here's the here's the sitch. All right, you ready for the sitch? Let's give us the. What I've is had the sitch, man. I've had some. I've had some. I've had some weird encounters too, but I'm going to tell you this, uh, and and shared encounters too. Man, it's 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 a uh, it's an odd thing, but I'm going to tell you. It seems to me, like we've got a, a an an echo of a of another. Uh, Reality of another dimension, uh, and and there are some places where it gets uh, gets a little crazy, where you, where it's a little thinner. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. Like another, like another multiple, like we have multiple realities, infinite. I I like the idea that that's what that is. They just sort of cross over sometimes, and you uh, get like, yeah. I, I find that more compelling than a lot of theories about what a ghost might be. Um, a lot of, you know, ghost hunting shows will talk about a ghost being energy, but energy is a property of objects. It doesn't just hang out in the air, you know? Even lightning isn't energy. Lightning is plasma that's conducting energy, and the energy pretty violently transfers from object to object. It's all about potential energy and kinetic energy and stuff like that. So for a ghost yeah. to emit energy, it's got to emit from something, and yeah. you know... Yeah. The, the idea that it's something physical that has a physical existence somewhere, it's definitely more compelling than it being disembodied. Yeah. I mean, I, I, uh, the, the stuff I experienced came with a lot of uh, emotional, um, shared emotional craziness. Um, but that can be explained in many ways. Uh, but I, I don't know. It's crazy to me. And I, 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 I like the idea that ghosts are just spirits of stuff but i don't i don't i'm not buying it you know who not knows to stray though? too far from the from ghosts and the supernatural but um i i feel like you know i i, I find you know that well there's the whole infinite multiverses and what have you but um i find it strangely compelling the theory that um if we as a species humanity are ever able to uh, create a complete simulation of a universe then the likelihood that our own universe is a perfect simulation inside a machine is um, astronomically high I think that that's a fun concept oh yeah Matt and I have, have rambled about this before I think it's the uh if simulated realities are possible, most realities have to be simulated. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's exactly. gener that's generally true from our understanding of simulated realities right now. Uh, and I agree that you know yeah. we might find I something mean, out, we might find something out about simulated realities that make us go like like in fifty years that make us go oh shit yeah probably not. We don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, this, yeah. Well, the the problem being, well, I mean, like, you would basically need infinite com computational yeah. power. Yeah. And what have you in order to do so. So the, you know, there are definitely uh, sort of, there, there are flies in that particular ointment, if you like. Um, and working in video games, um, I can tell you that... Uh, we're a long way off uh, from true AI. As yeah, well. it's, it, working in video games does give you an interesting perspective because, like, we're we struggle every day to create imperfect simulations. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so a perfect simulation to be. This is uh, a theory I've expressed before that I think annoys Matt slightly, but I uh, <laughs> I think like the granularity of the universe for it to be simulated, you'd basically have to like create one. Like, you'd have to, like, spark off a Big Bang and all of the particles in the universe moving as they would move to get... Because otherwise you'd get people, like, you cut off a limb and they're the same all the way through, like, a hot dog. Like... Well, my understanding is that's kind of the point of that whole simulation theory thing, is it is a basically a complete and true simulation of the universe. 
from, you know, Big Bang until the heat death of the universe, potentially, unless there's, you know, gets shot off at some point or whatever. But um, that would probably have to include, you know, evolution from, you know, like amoeba to present day humanity and what have you. My um, my well. theory, the 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 part that I, I annoyed Matt with last time we spoke to about it is I think what you'd basically have is you'd have the scientist not so much simulating as outright creating a universe and having mm-hmm. it in essentially a box and gesturing at the box and showing you some graphs and saying, and here's the universe. It's it's here. It's this just a it's a onyx cube. And uh, you can see it's emitting these frequencies, and that's that's a universe in there. And we'd sort of, like, we'd check their math and be like, yeah, I guess I agree that that's a universe, but we wouldn't really be able to observe it or interact with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, with, with potentially, you know, if we had the technology and the capability to completely simulate a universe, then one would assume that we might also have the technology to observe it at a fairly granular level. But would you care to, right? I, I find I, that uh, the the existential dread that some people feel from that particular scenario... I mean, ultimately, it's a moot point, right? Like, whether we're simulated or whether we're real... You know, we're still living our lives. Horror so. month! Horror <laughs> month! Existential <laughs> horror existential month! Existential dread, the only true dread. <laughs> <laughs> the horror was inside us all along. The horror was inside us all along. And I mean, look, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, I, it, it, the, the reason it bothers me is that I feel like any society that could per, per, perfectly replicate a universe uh, would be fundamentally either like not super interested in it or really interested in it. Uh, so I don't know. Well, it, it's the, the when I was talking about about it earlier, I compared it to like the study of black holes, which we can't really observe directly. So like the last mm-hmm. paper that Stephen Hawking's name on, they were trying to demonstrate that a black hole couldn't destroy information by studying its emissions. And to decipher the blackboard of math involved in proving that theory is uh, it, it, it's almost indecipherable to a layperson. And I think a universe simulation would be kind of like that. It would be like they'd have a bunch of really compelling data that proved they had a universe, but that that satisfies them from an academic from an academic standpoint. But I think a, a layperson would look at it and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and what what do we do with this? How do we use this? Yeah, I mean, the more compelling thing would be to have a near near sentient AI and then use it like The Sims, which you know I'm sure there are some ethical concerns around that thing, but at least The Sims is interesting for uh, a while until you just leave it alone. I suspect an imperfect simulation would be more interesting for that reason. You could get in there and fuck around with it and resolve it more easily into visual information. That is video games, right? Like, uh, it is an imperfect simulation with video game or sort of entertainment components purposely built in there. Yeah. I think that's sort of my, my take on it is I have a strong suspicion that a perfectly simulated reality that video games are a poor analogy for it. That I think a perfectly simulated reality would be largely an academic pursuit with a lot of with it relatively would have to be. like maybe as a cool battery. You know? If there was any gamification, it suddenly would no longer it would cease to become well, a perfect simulation. It, it, I think I it either would or or it would be common as fuck. You know what I mean? Well, it would have to be also. And, or it would be like everybody has access to that. Everybody can simulate a fucking universe, and we're just one. No, and that goes right back to that sort of um, that thought experiment that uh, if we can achieve it, then that means with within the simulated universe, they also will have the capability to achieve it, and therefore it's you simulated universes all the way down. Yeah, exactly. And it's if they can do it, that means they're probably simulated too. And maybe that's yep. maybe and that that's simulations all the way that's, back up. That's the that's that that's the nature of of reality and 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 our, our existence is that it's just simulated forever in in all directions. <laughs> 
I suspect yeah, it's one easy. of those distinctions that probably doesn't matter. Like, my hunch would be that if you simulated a universe and then you didn't like how it turned out, you would just start another one. That'd be the simplest way to do it if it's just a... If it's just something you can do. So even if ours is simulated... But again, also, like, if, if you want it to be a perfect simulation, then liking how it turns out completely ruins the academic study of it, right? And I think a perfect simulation would be about as hard to stop as it would be to start. So I think it's unlikely that ours is going to get switched off because someone's unhappy with it. There's no way that this <laughs> is a perfect simulation. <laughs> All right. Uh, Horror month! Horror month! <laughs> uh, See you next anyway, time, everybody. Anyway, we're a bunch of fucking nerds. That's, yeah. And next time, we'll explore Gwydion's room. Nice. Yes, that's kind of where we are, too. A little tower. Yeah. See you next time. So I said it. <laughs>